the general seemed to like the plan. Yes, he was particularly impressed with the sustainment proposal. I'll check out the pipeline time as soon as we get back. Good. Okay, Stolings, let's get back to the office. Yes, sir. Today, the United States is at peace, yet we in the military are sometimes the targets of violent terrorist attacks, one form of which is kidnapping. You must remain calm and follow instructions. The terrorists are excited at this point, and it is in these early moments that most injuries to victims occur. Once in captivity, your primary mission is to survive and to return home with your dignity and honor intact. In spite of the situation, Try to remember that as a hostage, you have symbolic and informational value. When questioned, provide your name, rank, social security number, and date of birth, and try to limit additional discussions to the innocent circumstances leading to your detention, health and welfare matters, and going home. Do not divulge classified information. Try to avoid signing any documents or making public statements damaging to the United States. <coughs> avoid political discussions. Try to move the conversation into non-controversial areas. 
it is important to make the transition from a hated symbol to a human being. Hello. Uh, let me take this. Uh, is it? Good. Your wound looks worse. You need a doctor to take care of that. Listen. Send this. I'll tell my friend to get you a doctor. Here. If you are wounded, they may Josh. take advantage of your weakened condition by depriving you of needed medical attention. You want a doctor? You sign that. You know, you could die. First, you what? understand? What? what do you want from me? Shut up! You must get permission first, you understand? Where's the others? To Where each of us, perception is reality. Your captor may try to manipulate your perceptions by depriving you of sleep, controlling your food and water intake, restricting your physical activity, or keeping you in prolonged social isolation. The loss of freedom and ability to make decisions for yourself, lack of privacy, humiliation and degradation are all factors which will be used to control you and make you lose self-esteem. All approach techniques are based on perceived weaknesses. Never challenge or antagonize the terrorist. Attempt no physical retaliation and try to control your instinctive behavior. Okay. Physical resistance can be dangerous. You must be alert and adjust to the changing situation by utilizing your best weapon, your mind. Interrogation techniques are structured approaches designed to induce or trick you into revealing information or making statements. Recognizing these approaches provides you a degree of control because you may be able to predict events with some accuracy. Lies. Lies. I'm sick of your lies! You are a liar! You are an enemy of our people! I, I know why you're here. I know why you're The intent of the accusation approach is to put you on the defensive. Huh? You gotta tell me the truth. Do you understand? I am telling you the truth. No, you're not! Making accusations rapidly and repeatedly is a technique designed to get you to disagree with the accusation and reveal information about your situation. I don't know. No but one. But you gotta tell me who you are covering. I'm not covering anyone. You are lying. While physical torture is uncommon, when used, torture is limited only by the imagination and moral restraint of your captor. The fear and despair approach takes advantage of your natural aversion to pain, fear of death, and the uncertainty of your future. To help alleviate these fears, you must keep faith in yourself and your country. Make the commitment that you will survive your captivity. It's not a matter of if you're going to talk. Just when. The friendly approach hopes that you will be subtly persuaded to cooperate out of gratitude. The interrogator may demonstrate tolerance, understanding, or even sympathy. Would you like anything to drink? Sure. He may employ subtle or blatant threats and promises, or any combination. Use this opportunity to convey apparent sincerity and build rapport. But remember, don't pander to the terrorist or debate the validity of his cause. 
I'm sorry, my friends. I've been very forceful with you. I know you've been treated harshly. Is there anything you need? Sure. I I'd like to call the embassy. Sure. I'll see what I can do. No problem. Often, several approach techniques may be combined. So, you are Captain William Hawkins. You're born at St. Mary's Hospital in Cleveland. Your wife's name is Betty. Shock and surprise is an approach technique designed to put you off guard, utilizing detailed information about you or your work. Don't confirm or react. The technique is effective only if you allow it to be. I got good contact. You don't tell me it went on my... No, 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 I have no permission to do this. Get out. Did he hurt you? He hates America. You are responsible for he feel you kill his brother. If you just give me something to tell them. The terrorists, using a threat and rescue approach, create a scenario in which you are threatened and then rescued. This approach attempts to obligate you to repay your rescuer with sensitive information or politically useful statements. Grace approach is used to magnify your perceptions of mistakes or flaws. In captivity, everything that happens to you is a ruse, a trick, or ploy. If you've suffered a setback, use the time between interrogations. You may have suffered a temporary lapse, but you still have the ability to resist. You must build the resolve to make them work just as hard for the same information or action, and harder for anything more. We have agreed to allow the world press to interview you. You may talk to them if you wish. You have 10 minutes. It's nice to meet you, Captain Hawkins. Is it OK if we interview you? Sure. Just a minute. Roll camera. Spain. Captain Hawkins interview. Three, two, one. You appear to be injured, Captain Hawkins. Are you really being treated well? Not really. We've been beaten. And Colonel, I'm pretty sure Colonel Wilkins has been tortured. They tell us that uh, you are working here on some secret nuclear weapon systems. Is this true? I'm a captain in the United States Air Force. I was assigned here six months ago as a logistics officer. Invited by the local government. I've never worked on nuclear weapons and I don't know anyone who does. You say you are a logistics officer? What exactly is that? In the non-interrogator approach, the appearance of the interrogator may be cloaked in legitimacy. Remember, in captivity, you have no friends. Trust no one. ...to the point of distribution. Thank you, Captain Hawkins. Cut. Captain Hawkins, they kept asking me about people at the embassy, but I fooled them. How's your arm? The electronic approach catches the unwary. Always assume you are under electronic surveillance. Sir, 
They've offered to release me. What should I do? Were there any strings attached? I'm not sure. The girl said that under certain conditions, I might be permitted to go soon. Be careful. Don't give an answer right away. Find out what the conditions are. And make sure you understand them. We're authorized to accept release, but... Not if you conditions. are offered release, accept it, unless the conditions compromise your honor. If in command, you should authorize release under almost all circumstances. One less American in terrorist captivity is one less exploitable hostage. Release that you can live with, by all means, take it. That'll only leave the captain and me here. And that's much better than all three of us. The ability to resist differs in everyone. Never allow a mistake, even if it's caused you harm, to be a divisive tool for the terrorist. You must keep faith with your fellow captives. You must accept and forgive the errors in judgment you or your fellow hostages have been pressured into making. If you are concerned with the actions of another, insulate him from sensitive information, but don't ostracize him. If you reject him, he may be more receptive to further exploitation. Mmm, red beans and rice. I paid good money for this at home. Yeah, it's good. You should use every opportunity to build as much rapport as possible. Hostages who consider escape to be their only hope are authorized to make such attempts. Each situation will be different, and you must carefully weigh every aspect of a decision to attempt to escape. Long captivity is a strain on you, even if you're not abused. This is particularly true if isolated from human contact. To reduce the effects of boredom, you must exercise both mind and body whenever you can. You can do isometric exercises even if restrained, and mental exercises which use concentration and imagination to help reduce boredom and alleviate depression. Communication is probably one of the most important tools captives have to provide news and support to each other. Communication systems and techniques are as varied and complicated as the situations in which they are used. The TAP code is a communication system that can be employed to transmit messages between hostages. The means and methods of communicating using the TAP code system are almost unlimited. You are, in fact, only limited by your imagination. Sight communication, using the prisoner of war hand code system, has the advantage of being simple and silent. Since it can also be seen by your captors, be discreet. If you find yourself a captive among others, communicate in any way possible using one of these methods or some method you develop on your own. According to State Department sources, the three American hostages were released early today. Army Colonel Frederick L. Wilkins, Air Force Captain Joseph Hawkins, and Navy Ensign Susan Kelly are reported in good health. The complete story at 11. In other news, Southeast flash flooding. In the unlikely event that you become a victim of a terrorist kidnapping, your mission is to survive with honor.
In order to do this, you must have faith in yourself, your fellow hostages, and your country. Remain firm in the conviction that despite any appearances to the contrary, your government is doing everything that they can do to obtain your release. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and consider becoming a Patreon member for the ASP. Please check out the ASP Patreon page.